Hi everybody, it's Andrea, aka Violet Kitty 411, and we are back in Pleasant View with Jillian Cook, whom, if you've been playing for any length of time, you know is a bin sim that is shipped actually with the free time expansion pack. Probably one of my favorite packs. Okay, but and we but we are in Pleasant View, and this is actually the first house I have ever played. I played it with a sim by the name of Sam Smarty Pants. Unlike most players, my first Sims 2 Sim was actually not my same gender. So I had somebody ask me, uh, Lee, Lee Play Sims actually asked me to do a real quick tutorial about changing Sims in Sim PE. So that's what we're going to do. So first thing I had to do was actually place Julian on the lot. Now I have to exit the game. So yes, I want to save that and I'll be back. So once you download and install SimPE, this is what it looks like when you first open it. Obviously nothing. So you have to use first the neighborhood browser and I'm going to click it and choose Pleasant View. I do actually have two fair, two Veronavilles. I have the one that I play the Fairy Legacy in and the other that I play uh, life in Veronaville in and now we're going to go ahead and do Sims surgery okay and I will click any picture then type J that way I know that I it's the easiest to find him this way because they are nicely in alphabetical order so he is the patient sim now Somebody asked if I could change him to a female. 100% easy. Uh, you'll just use any sim of your choice of the opposite gender. And But I do want the, Amanda Carlson's pretty cute. Amber Hyatt. Okay. And Andrea Hogan. Don't know if you know this. She's actually a blonde. She is a blonde. Uh, let's see. Angela Pleasant. You should probably stick to the same age group, so not Bella. Let's go with the breakdancer, and we will use her. Now, it could be face only, makeup only, eyes only, but if we don't do any of those, we are going to do, it'll just change her completely to looking, or change him completely, including including uh, clothing. So now we'll just do that and surgery and next we'll commit. So now Jillian Cook shows up here and we'll call him her now Juliana Cook or you know what we're calling her Julia. What are we who am I think we're just calling her Julia. Julia Cook Julia Child. I'm I know that was a thing. It had to be. Okay, so the other thing, so now going into career, well, not currently in a career, uh, interests, We you have these interests here. You can adjust them up and down. Uh, character, that's the other thing. Julian has a crappy personality. Now, so if a character had been changed uh, personality through gameplay, there will be a difference between genetic and it's the genetic is this one and the current display but there has been no gameplay changes we are actually going to change the genetic nice from four to six because I think six is the minimum of acceptability and we're also going to change the displayed nice of to six um, active now you could actually have a completely maxed out sim and in sims 2 I actually not sims 2 sims 1 I actually would max out all traits without any cheats it's very possible but we're not going to do that because they are much more interesting if they are not all maxed out I think 5 for neat is fine we that basically make sure they wash their hands when they use the toilet just that's fine outgoing six well I don't usually like them outgoing but that's okay playful I actually prefer that they are not that playful so I'm gonna take that down to two 
and active we're going to put back up at six you know if they have a very high active when they when they change clothes they get some real good air time as they jump into the air so we'll do that and we're making both the same regardless okay so there's that after you do that again commit all right easy peasy now if I wanted to change the way Julia looked again I could still use sim surgery again and choose bits and pieces from various from various sims I'm not going to do that but what I am going to do is I'm going to go under the more and choose open sim DNA and over here this is the eye color and I know that's hard to and there's different colors for the eyes and I'd have to look them up I don't remember off the top of my head which color this is so give me a quick second I will be right back so thanks to the help of Google just typing in Sims 2 eye color codes I've got this right here so the eye color that is currently displayed is brown and let's actually change them to light blue there's 10 more rows according to this but these are the there's a lot of colors that are uh, custom content and I'm not really worried about custom content I would like to go with uh, custom content is always super dominant alien is super dominant and I'm not sure what teal is okay so these right here brown dark blue green light blue or gray or alien are the ones that are in the game anything else after that is custom content but can be added to the game I guess I would like to see that but he currently has brown yeah 32 DEE -E. so let's actually say he has brown eyes but is carrying a light blue recessive allele so I'm gonna highlight that and move down into sim PE and change this one right here light blue okay now hair four is red three is blonde two is brown and one is black so red hair and red hair we're gonna keep that but we're also going to give a blonde allele because because they can't have red with a black with a black recessive but they can have black with a red recessive and they can have red with a blonde recessive and likewise blonde with a red recessive okay so that's what that displays skin tone is two out of four one being the lightest four being the darkest so we're gonna give a skin tone of two for what they're actually I feel like as a redhead let's give the skin tone of one of what they currently display and two of what they will what they possibly have skin tone range that means that they can what they would pers they could actually throw which would be let's say one to th one to three And that's what we'll do and we commit so now I've changed the genetics this will not show up until later in the game when I breed Julia if I ever do which is not likely but it could happen again after that commit now this third-party program is so big you can adjust so much and it's also used for creating recolors using CEP this is not something that I have ever done so I do not feel confident I'm sure there are tutorials out there but I don't feel confident to make it it's just it's a great tool they sim PE came out very shortly after the original release of the game and between this and clean installer I consider those two tools that you definitely want as a matter of fact when I started playing Sims 4 I was looking for things that would be similar for Sims 4 not really so much but that's okay now once you're finished with that you're going to go ahead and file save that's what we got or you can also click the save icon that works fine and then we'll close and go back into the game now as I'm loading it 
it shows the family portrait of Julian, but when I enter it for the first time, there she is dressed as the break dancer that she is. Clothes that we don't normally get and can't purchase anywhere as far as I know. Love that for her. And now let's look at her personality. Much better, the personality that I've chosen for her. And that's it. That's all it takes to do a major makeover. Now, I probably would recommend going to a mirror and just making sure. As a matter of fact, let's go to the mirror and give her a little bit of a makeover. But before I do that, actually, let's um, enter a cheat. Sim DNA Julia. And this shows you that there she's got red with a recessive of blonde. She's got dark brown eyes with a recessive of light blue. She's got a light skin tone, but she could throw, she also has a recessive of medium and she could throw anywhere between light and medium dark as to what she could send forth with her own children. So that's good. Now let's go ahead and add that mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Let's give her a little bit of a makeover and I'll be back. Okay, so we can change her appearance just like we change any other Sims appearance. We're gonna give her a better hairstyle. I don't have a whole lot of hairstyles because I don't do a whole lot of custom content, which is fine. But I do love that hairstyle. I find it very sleek, very sophisticated. And let's give her a little bit of makeup. Kind of make up for the fact that, there we go. And that's as easy it is to make some pretty serious adjustments with your Sim in Sim PE. I hope you enjoyed this. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you soon in the Pixelated World. And that's all I had to say. VK out.